Hi guys, uh, we are here at the Solar Wax Melter. Um, I have a project for all of you who are makers. Uh, the problem with a Solar Wax Melter is temperature. Temperature regulation to be exact. Whenever I throw some scrap comb in here, it melts and it goes to the bottom and forms into a nice brick. The problem is I don't come back for like days or weeks before I pick it up. In the meantime, I've had several days that was really hot and the sun hit it directly and we got above 180, 190, 200 inside and it discolors the wax. So wax melts, I think around 165-ish and it discolors at a higher temperature. The trick is to get the temperature inside the box up above the melting point of wax and then not let it get so hot it discolors the wax. When wax discolors, it goes from this wonderful yellow to a dingy brownish yellow tinge. And it lowers the quality of the wax. So the first thing I thought of is, well, wait a second. Greenhouses have a thermally tripped window that will open. I went and looked down that path and discovered uh, that they're always opening the window at temperatures way too low to melt the wax. So this is a challenge to anybody out there, any of my, my viewers, who know how to solve this problem. I'm looking for an inexpensive solution to regulate the temperature in a box. I know with an Arduino and a temperature gauge and a solenoid that I could probably lift the lid whenever the temperature read above 175 and it would lower it when it gets below a certain temperature so it cycles it up and down. That will be an expensive solution. I'm looking for an inexpensive solution. Perhaps somebody knows how to modify one of the window opening units for uh, the greenhouses. So this is my challenge to my viewers. Whoever out there knows how to solve this problem uh, let me know via the comments. If people like the solution, thumb it up, and the best solution will probably rise to the top. I'll be reviewing all of them, and we're going to open source release this solution to beekeepers at large, and we're going to be making one of these to prove it works. So, to all my beekeepers and makers, good luck, good designing.